Hello, I'm Sinead and this week we're bringing your week in tech from Runway East. I'm here with Natasha. Natasha, tell us more about the space. So Runway East is an environment where ambitious companies can flourish and grow. Here we define ourselves by the companies we keep. The 25 businesses here are curated and spread across all kinds of different sectors. They value collaboration and they work together to support one another. It's more than just an office, it's a family. Trussell, an online matchmaking service for mortgage seekers, has closed a $1.6 million round led by Robin and Sal Klein's new VC firm, Local Globe. Student.com, a marketplace for international student accommodation, has closed a $60 million round led by VY Capital. Cybersecurity startup Digital Shadows has closed a $14 million Series B round. Digital Shadows provides cyber situational awareness, which helps profile attackers and potential threats. And money transfer service World Remit has landed $45 million in new funding from Triple Point Venture Growth, BDC Core, and Silicon Valley Bank. European early stage tech startup investors Karma Ventures has announced the launch of a 40 million euro fund. The fund will be based in Luxembourg and is looking for 25 startups with a specialism in the Internet of Things, FinTech, HealthTech and EdTech. Tech City UK has released its Tech Nation report, showing 32% faster growth in tech compared to the rest of the economy. And £161 billion in turnover for digital tech companies in 2014. Startups is that time of year again. Our Elevator Pitch competition kicks off and applications are now open. Head to our website for your chance to win and boost your profile. To date, Elevator Pitch winners have raised over $100 million and include the likes of Yplan, Hassle.com and Import.io. The next issue of our print magazine is out on the 22nd of February. Make sure you subscribe to get your free copy. We've got a special report on cybersecurity, an exclusive interview with Dr. Sue Black and a feature on the up-and-coming tech hub of Amsterdam. And if that wasn't enough, this week we've released the Scale-Up Guide to Amsterdam video. We talked to big names, Booking.com, Adyen, and The Next Web. For more, check out our YouTube channel. Our download of the week is QuickUp. QuickUp promises to bring you anything, anywhere in London, from a takeaway to the latest iPhone. The app will do your errands for you. And finally, Google has managed to convince the US government that the tech company's computers, rather than humans, should be defined as the drivers of their self-driving cars. Although the Transport Authority said it agreed the software was the driver in a Google car, it also said it had no test to evaluate whether the software was any good. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.